Hi, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum and very good day to my honorable judges and audience. Hi, my name is Ayhan Zani Benta Mereza from University of Science of Malaysia and this is my team members. My name is Sakita Binti Ali Fiji from University of Science Islam Malaysia. Today, we are going to present to you about our thesis which is titled is NGSOC Component in IT Asset Management Policy in SOC. Do you ever imagine our world with minimal cyber attacks where all companies and institutions could have seamless business transactions without worrying about cyber threats from traceless cyber criminals? Hmm. Yes, we are now living in an era where we already have been fenced by one of the methods in cyber technology that is Security Operation Center, which is SOC. SOC operates for 24 hours monitoring and investigating for any patterns of mission threats and they also complies with three main components that is people, process and technology. They complement each other and they need to be updated by time to time as the people need to be updated with a professional certificate by going through the process, a proper process of obtaining professional certificates from well-known organizations. Yes, and the process needs to be streamlined by skill and experienced employees who cover everything from beginning to the end by using the updated technology provided. However, our SOC are still in worrying condition where they are still using inadequate and outdated technology to be used inside the SOC. And, and yet, there is no efficient policy yet related to the NG SOC component. This situation can be related and be best example of going to war using a blunt knife. Hmm. The worst part is that some companies take it for granted by spending minimally on the technology updates on SOC related. You need to remember this is not a prediction, but it is already happened to numerous huge big organizations where they face cyber attacks such as ransomware attacks and also data leak to the dark web. This may not only impact the capital investment but also to the organization reputations. Therefore, this thesis aims to produce an NGSOC component to be related as one of the components in existing IT asset management policy which can be complied by any SOC either in-house or outsource. This component consists of nine main pillars. I believe this thesis has potential to cover two areas. The first one, it helps in SOC efficiency in risk analysis, business impact, and also advanced vulnerability mitigations. From here, SOC can give optimal capability to defend against cyber threats from outside networks without any hesitations. Secondly, this thesis in line with Two guidelines. The first one is Cyber Safe Malaysia guideline under the topic of asset protection and government institution in national security policy 2021 until 2025, where the message is about cyber security and technology sections. And I also believe this thesis may not only help many organizations that operate SOC and NGSOC, but also help in giving new ideas and concepts to other incident management for securing our cyberspace in any area. Thank you for your time and I hope we can meet again soon. Thank you.